Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can use multiple desktops on Windows 10. And as full disclosure, before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. So why the heck would you ever wanna open up multiple desktops on Windows 10? Well, let's say for instance, I'm doing work. So I have my YouTube channel, and so maybe one of my desktops is to look at all of my work content. So maybe I have my video app open, uh, maybe I have my note app open, and then maybe I wanna have a separate desktop where I could track all my leisure or entertainment type activities and I could just easily jump back and forth between them. Or maybe let's say I wanna have some reference material up on another desktop and I wanna quickly be able to jump to it and then jump back. Uh, between my desktops, I could very easily do that. There are any number of reasons you might wanna use multiple desktops, and today I'm gonna show you how you can do it. Uh, so why don't we jump on the PC and I'll show you how. Okay, here I am on my Windows 10 desktop, uh, and you can do this with any version of Windows 10. So the way that we're gonna open up multiple desktops, what we're gonna do is with your mouse, go down to the taskbar, and we are going to click into something called the task view. It should be on the far left-hand side of your taskbar. Uh, you can also access it via a shortcut key. If you press the Windows key and the Tab key at the exact same time, that also brings up the task view. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna click on the task view, and here you see my task view. So it shows me all my apps that are currently open on my main desktop, and it also shows things that I've accessed in the past. And so here, right at the top in the left-hand corner, there's an option that says New Desktop. So I'm gonna go ahead, why don't we click on that? That sounds promising. And now I have two different desktops open. So I have what's referred to as desktop one. That was the one I started with. And now I have a new one called desktop two. And you could add any number of new desktops. Uh, I don't, there's probably some limit somewhere, but I've tried creating many, many desktops and I've never encountered any type of limit. Uh, so feel free to create as many as you want. Uh, so here I am in desktop two. So what is the difference between these desktops? Well, here what you'll see is it's a clear desktop. So none of the apps that I had open in the first desktop are open here. And it gives me basically a clean slate. So here I could jump back. If I click on the task view again, uh, what I could do is I could easily navigate back to my desktop view, uh, desktop number one. So I could jump back and forth between my two desktops. Um, so here's an example, let's say desktop one, maybe I have my thumbnail up that I'm creating for YouTube, and then maybe I have a browser tab open with an upload that I'm doing to YouTube, I could leave this up, and maybe I don't wanna interfere with this current desktop view, and then here I could start from scratch on desktop two. So on desktop two, maybe what I wanna do is this is more my entertainment desktop, so maybe I'll go to The Verge uh, to read some news. Uh, I could even go ahead and launch a game over here as well, so I'm gonna launch this game called Parkitect, and and I'm gonna bring that up on desktop two. Uh, and what I can do here too, if I press Windows tab, what I can do is I could simply navigate back to my first desktop and then the game and the Verge window uh, disappear. So it's a clear desktop again. And now I'm gonna press Windows tab and here I could jump back into my desktop too. Uh, so it's a nice way to organize content and, and keep views that are kind of logically grouped by what you're working on. So one of the things I also wanna show now, so I'm gonna go back to the task view and one of the things that you could do is let's say that you're working on some items on desktop one. Uh, so maybe I'm working on, let's say, uh, my thumbnails here, and maybe I wanna bring that into my other desktop for whatever reason. What you could do is you could click on an item and then you could drag it into the other desktop. So there, now it's on desktop two. So if I go to desktop two, I'll see my PowerPoint with one of my thumbnails that I'm creating. And here, if I go back into the task view, once again, I could click on that and drag it to desktop one. So you can move content back and forth between your different desktops. Now, once you have a desktop open, what you could do is if you no longer need that desktop, if you hover over it, you'll see this little X icon up here. What you could do is you could click on the X and that will close the additional desktop. So you could add them, you could remove them. Uh, and so that's the basic functionality of desktops uh, or having multiple desktops. Now what I wanna do is I wanna show some shortcut keys of how you can make working with multiple desktops even easier. Uh, so one of the things that you could do, I mentioned before that to get to task view, you could press Windows tab and that'll bring up the task view. Now you could click on new desktop, you could close a desktop, but you could also do all those uh, actions with shortcut keys. So if you press Windows, 
and then the control key and the D key at the same time, that'll automatically open a new desktop. So here, if I click back into the task view, you'll see now that I have three desktops opened. Uh, Windows control D will open another desktop. So now I'm up to four desktops. So you could very quickly add desktops. But let's say I went a little overboard and actually I don't need that many desktops. What you could do is if you press Windows control and the F4 key at the same time. So once again, that's Windows control and the function four or the F4 key, that'll close a desktop. Uh, and I can do that again to close another desktop. And this brings me back to my second desktop. And if I go back to the task view, you'll see now that I only have two. Now, one of the nice shortcuts that you could do is jumping back and forth between desktops should be easy to make this useful. And the way to navigate back and forth between desktops is you simply press the control key, the windows key, and either the left arrow or the right arrow, depending on the direction you wanna go in. So in this case, I'm on my second one and I wanna go left to the first one. So what I do is once again, control windows left key, and that'll send me to the left and then windows control right key and that'll send me to the right and here I could very quickly jump back and forth between the two different desktops using those shortcut keys. So that makes my multiple desktops much more uh, easy to access. And so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna close out this desktop. So once again, control Windows F4 and that'll close that window. If I have any browser tabs or any apps open on a desktop that I'm closing, what it'll do is it'll simply boot that back to the remaining desktop that I still have open. So in this case, it brought the Verge window out to my primary desktop. All right, well that was a very quick example of how you could work with multiple desktops in Windows 10. If you learned something new and you're now using multiple desktops, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if there are any other videos that you wanna see me create in the future, leave a comment down below and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Bye.